I have of late, but wherefore I know not, lost all my mirth. Forgone all custom of exercises, and indeed it goes so heavily with my disposition that this goodly frame, the earth, seems to me a sterile promontory. This most excellent canopy, the air, look you. This brave o'erhanging firmament. This majestical roof fretted with golden fire. Why, it appeareth nothing to me but a foul and pestilent congregation of vapours. What a piece of work is a man. How noble in reason. How infinite in faculties. In form and moving. How express and admirable. In action, how like an angel. In apprehension, how like a god. The beauty of the world, the paragon of animals. And yet, to me, what is this quintessence of dust? Man delights not me. You've completely underestimated your material. You know that, don't you? <laughs> One of the greatest works of the English language. An ocean of complexities. What it is to be human. A study of the finite. A glimpse of the infinite. The brightest star in the firmament. And yet here you are gawping up at it like a godless savage. You don't have what it takes to be a proper actor. You are where you are because you deserve it. You reap what you sow. This is as high as you go. Some people just don't get to touch the sky. Well, there's a special providence in the fall of a sparrow. If it be now, it is not to come. If it be not to come, it will be now. If it is not now, yet it will come. The readiness is all. <laughs> 